This meeting is being recorded. Good morning to everyone. Um, it's my pleasure to present uh, a part of my PhD research uh, at today's APPS seminar series. The title of uh, today's uh, my presentation, Sources and Quantification of Flower Blight Pathogens in Macadamia. I'm glad that a manuscript on this topic has been provisionally accepted in the APS Phytopathology Journal. Let's start with the introduction part. A macadamia tree nut crop uh, was originated from the Eastern Australia. Uh, there are four species in the genus Macadamia. Among them, two species, uh, Macadamia indigrifolia and Macadamia tetraphylla, and their hybrids produce edible kernel. Macadamia kernels can be used, uh, can be eaten as uh, raw or roasted and can be used in the manufacture of oil or confectionaries. According to 2020 production statistics, uh, the global production of macadamia was around 62,000 tons kernels, where Australia contributed to one fourth of the global productions. In Australia, you can see in the map, the Bundaberg region and Sunshine Coast regions in the uh, Queensland and also the Northern uh, Rivers regions in New South Wales are the major macadamia production areas. In Australia, the racine elongations begins in mid to late winter, that is June to July, and the peak and the cyst occurs in late winter or early spring, that is September. So the flower diseases of macadamia, generally called as uh, flower blight disease, threaten the Australian macadamia industry. The poor flower retention and loss of fruit set due to flower diseases uh, have been reported from all the macadamia production regions in Australia. The various fun fungal pathogens affect macadamia racemes. In Australia, three types of flower blights have been reported. Botrytis blight, uh, also known as gray mold, uh, cladosporium blight, uh, or uh, green mold, and pestilia chapsis blight, or the uh, dry flower disease. So we found that the dry flower disease is caused by multiple species of uh, pestilatioids fungi, including the two already known pathogens and one uh, new host record and five novel pathogens. So the novel, five novel species of the new pestilatioids were named using the names of uh, uh, researchers working on macadamia plant protections. So all the novel species of the new pestilatioids have been characterized and published in uh, Journal of uh, Fungi last year. Similarly, the several species of Cladosporium, including uh, uh, one known pathogen and two host new records and three novel pathogens, uh, cause uh, gray mold disease of macadamia. And the gray mold is uh, caused by the already known pathogen botrytis scenario. And uh, in addition to that botrytis scenario, we found that uh, botrytis macadamia, the novel pathogen also causes the gray mold. So all the novel species of uh, uh, Cladosporium and botrytis have been characterized and published in another article in Journal of Fungi. So the knowledge of uh, key components of uh, disease cycles uh, is very important so for the disease uh, cycle. One ex for example, the sources of inoculum, the knowledge on the source of inoculum is very important for the effective management of flower blight disease. So it was hypothesized that the remnant racemes from previous flowering seasons that persist in macadamia tree canopy uh, could serve as uh, the primary source of inoculum for all the three types of uh, flower blights. We have identified and characterized a new disease uh, called yellow halo leaf spores, which was published last year in the uh, European Journal of Plant Pathology. So this disease is caused by Neopestiochopsis vinae. So since this pathogen is also a causative agent of uh, dry flower disease, we suggested that the conidia produced from the uh, yellow halo leaf spores could contribute to the uh, dry flower disease. So based on this background, this uh, research was aimed 
to determine uh, whether the remnant racemes and yellow halo leaf spots uh, in the macadamia uh, are the sources of flower blights, and also to, to detect and quantify the relative amount of inoculum of the pathogens from the putative sources of inoculum using a qPCR assay. So the fungal isolates were obtained from the remnant racemes and leaves with the yellow halo leaf spots that were collected from the commercial macadamia orchards. Here you can see that the fungal genera, Neopesleochopsis, Cladosporium, and Botrytis were more frequently isolated from the remnant racemes while the genus uh, Neopesleochopsis is the dominant genus isolated from the yellow halo leaf spot. Pathogenicity trials were conducted on, in two locations on two macadamia cultivars over the two flowering seasons using three types of materials. The first one, conidial suspensions from the PO cultures of the fungal isolates obtained from the remnant racemes and leaf spots. The second one, conidial suspension from the plant materials, that is remnant racemes and leaf spots. And finally, the incubation of healthy racemes with the plant materials. So the inoculated racemes were examined for flower blight symptoms and the disease severity was uh, rated uh, 14 days after the inoculation. The results of pathogenicity trials with pure cultures showed uh, the, uh, the uh, representative isolates of uh, botrytis, cladosporium, neopesleochopsis, and pesleochopsis that were obtained from remnant racemes uh, uh, produced uh, the uh, flower blight symptoms and also recorded the maximum disease severity on developing macadamia racemes, whereas the representative isolates of neopesleochopsis obtained from yellow halo leaf spots showed severe disease uh, on macadamia racemes. This figure shows the results of pathogenicity trials with uh, plant tissues and conidial suspension. Here you can see that the two treatments, conidial inoculations and the direct tissue incubations from remnant racemes produce significantly the highest disease severity, whereas the two types of treatments uh, involved with yellow halo leaf spots produced comparatively the lower disease severity in comparison to the treatments uh, of remnant racemes. Let's move on to the inoculation inoculum quantifications. So the in a, conidia in uh, remnant racemes and leaf spots were quantified by a qPCR assay. For this, a multiplex qPCR was developed using already published uh, primer pairs uh, for botrytis and cladosporium. But for the pesleochopsis and neopesleochopsis, we uh, designed a new uh, primer set and developed a qPCR assay, which was uh, published last year in the journal Plant Pathology. So the newly developed multiplex qPCR assay in the study had a, a higher amplification efficiency that is more than 93 percentage. And this assay was able to detect as few as five quantities per microliter of all the three types of flower blight pathogens. So the results of detection and quantification of inoculum from the remnant racemes, the relative amount of conidia of pesleochopsis and neopesleochopsis was significantly the highest among the three types of flower blight pathogens. And also we noticed that the group pesleochopsis and neopesleochopsis was directed by the qPCR assay from all the remnant racemes samples that we collected and we included in this present study. From the yellow halo leaf spots, only the pesleochopsis and neopesleochopsis conidia were detected. That ranged from 100 to 1,000 conidia per centimeter squared. No any botrytis or cladosporium uh, conidia were detected by the qPCR from yellow halo leaf spots. So based on the findings, it can be concluded that 
the remnant racemes are the potential source of inoculum for all the three types of flower blights in macadamia. And also the yellow halo leaf spots only contribute to uh, dry flower disease. So this suggests uh, racemes from the previous flowering season should be removed from the tree canopy as a control option of flower blights in macadamia orchards. Also, the inoculum density that can be estimated by the QPCR assay uh, could be used uh, for the disease development, uh, disease prediction tool development. So I would like to acknowledge uh, my PhD advisors, Associate Prof. Femi Akinsami and Professor Vikalia, and also the UQ Research Training Scholarship for my studies. And also the, uh, this uh, project was funded by the Hort Innovation Macadamia Fund and the Macadamia Growers in Queensland and uh, New South Wales who permitted us to collect the samples from their orchards. Thank you very much.